Um, are you ready for temperatures to get above freezing? Yes. I'm excited to talk about this. <laughs> I want to dive right into it. Not with the flooding that will come from the melting yeah, snow. Yeah, you know, there are going to be some concerns with that, especially with all of the snow that's on the ground. I mean, look mm -hmm. at the lake. Not only is it frozen, but it has feet of snow on top of it. Yes, we have to melt all that, and that could come with its own set of problems. Let's start with where we are. Temperatures are currently into the teens for the most part. There's still a single digit hanging on, but we're almost to 20 for many of you. I do think we're going to be approaching our uh, high temperature at some point in the next couple of hours. So how many days has it been since we've been above freezing? I know I've been showing you this because I'm counting the days 15 since we have seen the numbers go above 32. I'm just I'm shocked by that 43 day record back in 76 to 77. Our forecast is for 17 days, so we have two more to get to. One is going to be today. The other is going to be tomorrow. 23 for our daytime high. It'll be a lot like today. You'll have some sunshine. You'll mix in some clouds and then we'll start to kick in with a south wind. The south wind will continue for tomorrow. In fact, it's going to it's for a Friday for a Sunday. Excuse me. Uh, it's going to really kick in 15 to 20 miles per hour. That's going to warm us up to 34. But yes, it comes with that chance for snow. We may see a few snow showers in the morning. There's your timestamp. But by the afternoon, I think we'll see more of the snow begin to overspread the area before wrapping up pretty quickly. Now, this is going to be a different consistency of snow. This may be one to two inches of a heavier, wetter snow. It may have as much weight as four to six inches of the light, powdery snow that we have out there. So this is going to have a significant amount of water content. That may lead to some concerns for additional weight that's on top of the two feet of snow that's already there. And yes, as Ryan mentioned, once the temperatures warm up, watch for flooding along the rivers, ice jams are a concern, and then some of the ice falling off of the buildings.